everybody and welcome to another stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That's me, I'm Johnny Chiodini and uh, today, well, the good news is we're not going to be exploding nurses and engaging in any uh, folk horror because we'll be, um, we'll be playing, one second, playing, hard, hard, hold on, let me move my face, ha no, that's not my face, that's my face, I'm so good at this. Hard Space Shipbreaker! It says it just down there. Um, which apparently is a very relaxing game about just cutting up um, ships in space um, sort of for salvage. Um, I did notice before the stream started uh, a couple of you making jokes about space being the one place it has, uh, hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. I regret to inform you, I believe you're doing this as a story reason to clear your debts. So actually, you're doing this for money. Um, because capitalism so sorry sorry about that uh, but I hope everyone is very well uh, Charlie June says wow it's literally been a year since I caught the stream so much has happened I work in tabletop games now congratulations Charlie and if I may be so bold welcome back uh, meanwhile uh, I'm gonna fuck your name up saying it but um, Gerald Jero uh divine divine Jerome Devine? I hope I said that right. Uh, it says, hello there, first time live. Hello, welcome aboard. Aren't you so glad that you're watching this live so you can hear me uh, <laughs> ruin the pronunciation of your name in real time. Anyway, let's join Lynx, which is, I think, the name of the shipbreaking company. Um, which is also quite funny. I'm going to turn the game down a little bit. Uh, it's also quite funny because uh, Lynx in the UK is what they call uh, Axe, the deodorant. So you've got like Lynx Africa, which I, that's what space smells like, I think. There you go. Um, Aiden Folks has done a uh, has done a super sticker of a pair, like a pair that's got arms and legs and uh, sunglasses, and it's going like, "Hey you, hey you, hey you," which is all very nice. Meanwhile, Argent has done a Super sticker of the same pair, uh, with like a boater hat doing a jolly dance, with the text saying "You are amazing" and like confetti raining down, which is very kind. Thank you, Argenta. Um, Dan Keller says, "Hope you're ready to blow yourself up randomly, Johnny." Always. Um, Random working says, "Is this your first time playing?" Yes, never played this before in my life. So let's see how this goes. But it's on Game Pass, and I fancy something sort of chill. I hope this is chill. If it's not chill enough, we'll turn the difficulty down so there's no oxygen drain or whatever. But anyway, humankind has industrialized much of the solar system. Earth has deteriorated into a place of squalor and decay. In orbit, a new breed of worker has emerged, the shipbreaker. The labor is extremely dangerous, but for a select few, the hazard pay is worth the risk. Oh, nice and relaxing. Good, good. Oh, Charlie also uh, Charlie says, I also got my first ever tattoo yesterday. Wow. Congratulations. Okay. Pave the way to the Galaxy program. Update on your application status. Okay. Greetings, citizen LF291180S. Or is that a five? Um, of course, you're, yeah, you're watching um, youtube.com forward slash... This is an LF-291180S. Congratulations, you've been accepted into Lynx's, Lynx Corporation's pioneering Pave the Way to the Galaxy program. Your selection was based on above average physical and cognitive ability. Well, if that doesn't sound like me, I don't know what does. Um, um, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 where was it? Yeah. Uh, oh, God. Some uh, super chats that come flying in. Just give me one second. Uh, also, I see Aiden Folks says hashtag general election now. I agree with you, but that's enough of politics for today. I'm sick of I'm sick of even thinking about the state of the UK. I'm not talking about it today. Uh, so please, can it? Thank you. Uh, you are assigned to salvage station 42. Destination, Morrigan. Great. Demonstrate the ability to build and grow a profitable operation and a number of exciting opportunities await you. 
Um, remember, employment in this program is at the sole discretion of Lynx Corporation can be revoked at any time. Acts of malice or insubordination will not be tolerated. Upon signing this form, please proceed immediately to the nearest Lynx Corporation shuttle hub for transport to the worksite. Finalise the following pages to confirm employment. Alright, but before then I'm going to read out two super chats. How is the audio balance, by the way? Is it okay? Um, uh... TransGamerNerd27 has done a super chat saying today marks the end of my second week at the new job and I'm loving it. My boss review my boss reviewed my first assignment yesterday and I got a lot of praise with a Oh, it's a it's a tada emoji with some confetti firing out of a little cone and then a trans flag. Congrats, TransGamerNerd27. I hope you have a, a restful and lovely weekend lined up. But I also hope Um that you are taking some time to celebrate yourself, because it sounds like you're doing great. So yeah, well done. A Chartreuse Goose has done a super chat saying, Stupid real life has me a month behind on YouTube videos to watch, but managed to catch a live stream. Yay! Hello! Welcome to the here and now, uh, A Chartreuse Goose. I hope you are well. Okay, I've turned the game down a touch, because to be honest, it's a little bit loud in my ears as well. Um, Okie dokie. Alright. Account name. Link's work effort tracking program require an account name. Please enter an account name below. Profanity or anti-corporate slang or jargon is not accepted. Uh, Anonymous says it does sound like you're going to get to choose a name. I reiterate, reiterate my suggestion of Thomasina. I'm, I'm, I would really like to move away from the, the, the haunting folk horror for just one stream. So, um... Uh... Um... Hmm... Hmm. Um, Sergeant Orbit. That's who we are. Sergeant Orbit. Selected revival package. Revival package? We proudly offer our Everwork asset, asset replacement program to new employees. Below, below the details of your selected spare package. Terran Health Board Advisory. Cloning has a 0.02% chance of DNA corruption. Oh, this is going to be quite deadly, isn't it? Right, spares unlimited, spare fee, 150,000 whatever money is now. Um, Gimli O'Gloin, <laughs> that's a tremendous username, has done a super chat saying, first live stream I catch, and it's one of my favourite games of the last few years. You are in for a ride. I'm glad to have you with me, Gimli. That's very kind of you. Voice ID verification. Verify the voice file you submitted in your original application. What a strange thing they asked for in the application. Let's go with that one. Orientation preference, standard. Meal preference. Our food processors have a variety of diet preferences. Food costs may vary over time. Um, plastic free, I think. Yeah, plastic free sounds nice. What is even entomatarian? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Please agree to each statement. I have no criminal record in the Terran or Martian zones. A record on the Jovian frontier is acceptable. Well, I do, but Sergeant Orbit doesn't, so that's fine. Oh, I am not a member of and have never associated with a workers' union or other labour interest. I think capitalism's in space, everybody. Oh, insect-based. That's what that, that meant, the previous selection. I've completed my annual medical exam and have been cleared of having McCulloch, McCulloch's lung. Yes, because McCulloch is using his lungs right now. I have no commercial or real estate interests on Luna, in the Astro Belt, or in the nation state of Arizona. Interesting. I will bring a positive attitude and problem-solving mindset to work every day. Eh. I understand and accept the health risks associated with long-term exposure to a Van der Waals field. I will vote for Chancellor Chun Zhang in the Pan American Senate election. Wow. Wow. Max Smith 2013 says Johnny selling out. Boo. I have to. Look, if I don't tick them all, I can't proceed. And it'll be a very, very dull three hour stream indeed. Um, which uh, uh, is to say, I'm streaming until seven today, not eight. Because uh, I want to start, I want to stop a little bit early so that I can walk the dog and get some dinner on, in me before my Friday evening plans. Because it is, after all, Friday. All right, and then here's the Eula. Obviously, we're not reading that. Pfft. 
James Nedwood says, Vandal Wall? Isn't that the guitar song? Very good. Oh, it's like the start of Gladiator. We've been on the run, driving in the sun, looking out for number one. California, here we come. Each day he steps into the yard to earn his wages working hard. I pray to the stars and heaven above. California! To return my daddy to those he loves. Here we come! There comes a time when he and death meet. Bless the next cutter that takes his seat. Wow. Oh, I'm into this. We've been on the run. Bling. Yes, please. That looks great. Megan M has done a super sticker of a lemon person with sunglasses on. My name's Sergeant Orbit. Fine. I'm dealing with important messages. Boundless promise. Limitless resources, a brighter future. It's here where hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, mm -hmm. will help us pave the way to the galaxy. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson, president of Lynx Corporation's Salvage Division. When my great great grandfather Exeter founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. His vision eventually brought us the rail gates. Now spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connected. Railgate is what I call my redacted. And the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The rail gates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates. To join the Lynx family. No, never good when they say this family and it's a, a company. It's an opportunity to be part of the largest, most successful, and most pioneering company in human history. Okay, but I... Your dream may be to forge your own destiny. Yeah, I've, my dream is to well, read these super chats. Work hard. Feed your superiors. Believe in the Lynx vision. Do this. Okay. And you too will get your chance. Okay. Your first step is to join our Ever Work program. The greatest gift we give our employees. So, like I was saying. Turning death into an ongoing opportunity okay. for learning and growth. With Lynx, death is a fresh start. Oh, God. Good luck. Thank you. Megan M's done a super sticker of a, a person. A lemon crossed with a person with sunglasses on that keeps going like, ah, yeah, and then presumably their child who somewhat confusingly is a lime, uh, is, is on the floor next to them sort of waving. The lime child doesn't get uh, their own chair, they just have to deal with the floor. So that's troubling. Chris Rakowski has done a super chat saying, I really hope you enjoy this game, the music is fantastic. I'm learning that so far. A lot of banjo, and then now sort of this like, num, 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 corporate nonsense. Jay Appleseed has done a super chat saying, been hopeless at catching live strings, so it's that been hopeless at catching live streams, so I'm going to VOD, but here's my share of the energy bill. Brackets, kittens must be kept warm, they get so big. They are, they are, yeah, getting pretty large now. Uh, and they can just get up onto the table as whatever they want. So I walked into, walked into the room this morning and there were two kittens just like, yes, what do you want? Which is quite fun, really. Um, Okie dokie. Here is Trev, says, great, corporations have ruined death now as well. Ugh, right, okay, well, let's, yeah, let's begin genetic extraction. Video on 
observation complete. To finalize onboarding, your genetic sequence will now be extracted for use with the Lynx Everwork Asset Replacement Program. Don't worry, pain levels during extraction are largely tolerable. Buy me a drink first. <laughs> Please note, as outlined in Section 31 of your employment agreement, the process of genetic extraction will destroy your original body. What? Beginning extraction now. <laughs> My original body! Well, that's not fun. Valeria699 says, I thought we were getting away from horror, lol. Me too. But hey ho. Okay, Everwork asset replacement successful. Genetic sequence stored. Congratulations, it is now safe to die. Asterisk. Shipbreakers are responsible for the cost of biomaterials used in the Everwork process. An additional fee is required for deaths that occur outside working hours. You may now proceed with salvage training. Good luck. All right. Loading fees report. What? What? I have to pay seven dollars fifty to look at this report. Oh, I'm in a lot of debt. Debt is a sign of being prepared. Is that one billion two hundred fifty-two million five hundred ninety-four thousand four hundred forty-one dollars and ninety-two cents? Uh, system report check was one hundred and twenty k. Uh, biomaterial refrigeration is expensive also. Uh, helmet interface software update. Meal prep annual. I spend $34 million on food a year. Am I just being... Am I just being fed gold? Okay. Alright. Well, that's so shocking I just switched and I was using the wrong mouse but oh well yes let's uh let's agree to get into this much debt shall we links employee handbook salvage hazards some AI has been observed interfering with ship controls such as doors of press pressurization okay i do not understand what that means all right all right breathe breathe You're okay Ooh. everything's going to be just fine there you go. Plenty of folks feel a bit woozy with the first pair. Hey, anyway, welcome aboard. The name's Weaver. Hello. I'm the foreman for yourself and a couple of other shipbreakers in this region. This year's Morgan Station. She may not look like much right now, but once we boot her up, she'll purr like a kitten. All right, let's test out your orientation control. Okay. Do me a favor and look up at that cargo elevator up above. Oh, I picked the. Lucy says I picked the fancy I don't want to eat plastic option. Of course I did. That's it. So that's where all the salvage gets collected to be picked up by the transfer crew. Okay. Just in case you ever turn yourself out of whack, use your roll thrusters to reorient. Okay. Alright. Now let's get you flying. Activating your thruster controls now. Try moving around. Colin Laster says, why do the blue collar construction folks all sound like me? I don't know, Colin, but I didn't know that's what you sounded like. And it's, it sounds delightful. Okay. Thrust forward. <laughs> thrust, thrust backward. Unusual maneuvers now. Thrust right. Thrust left. Now vertical control. Let's see. Ascend. I think it's the exact same as the prey controls, which is good. Looks good. Now, it including stop. Good, okay. Yeah, and then break. Break is that. Cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mr. Tom of the Wind says, You seem well practiced at thrusting. Yep, that's me. Don't know why you said it like like uh, Alec Guinness, but myself, you know. So there were some uh, complications with my last revive. 
Okay. Those are early days in the tech, though, so never you mind about that. Oh, almost forgot the most important thing. Brakes. Yeah. Get yourself going at a decent clip, and then test them out, why don't you? Okay. Emma Benton says, is this Subnautica in space? It seems to be, but I'm not All afraid right. of it, which is nice. Huh. Looks like the bay here was left in a bit of a mess. Oh, no. We're going to clean this crap up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate the furnaces. Now. Dang, dang. Oh, dear. Would you just... Oh, oh, God. Jesus. There you go. So these furnaces are used to melt down soft metal. Okay. Should go without saying. These things are hot as all get out. So, try not to drift into them by accident. Understood. Okay. Da -da. Let's get a handle on your grapple tool. This fella here is a shipbreaker's bread and butter. Okay. This is how we move salvage around. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object and move it around. If it's not too heavy. Give it a go. And move one of That's the too heavy. Furnace. So... When you're holding an object with the grapple, you can retract the beam. This will pull a light object to you. If it's heavier than you, <laughs> it'll pull you toward right. it. Right, yes. Check out your HUD when you've got an object grapple. It shows you the mass of the object and whether you can move it or not. Right. I mean, I just beamed myself with it, but... Come back. There we go. Oops. Fuck! Well, that's, this is more challenging. Emma Benton says, Ooh, can we fly into the furnace? For science? I'd rather not. Oh, you can push an object. Focus push when grappled. Okay. There we go, okay. Nice job cleaning up that soft metal scrap cutter. Huh. Let's move on to the bigger nanocarbon chunks now, shall we? You may have already noticed that yes. these are too heavy to move. Yes. Scrapple. I'm enabling your scanner so we can check out their structural makeup. Oops. Go ahead and boot it up. No. Well, hang on. Wait. This is fun. I like this. Toggle scanner. Hovering over, hovering over, uh, hov, hovering over an object. Hov, hover. Oh my god. Hover over an object to discover more details. No, you cannot cut or grapple while in scan mode. Okay. Ooh. Scanner, you assess an object structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. All right. Controls give me the go ahead to get you cutting. Oh, I see everyone's already placing bets on when my first death's going to come. Thank you all so much. That's great. Panel. Cut point grade one. Nano carbon. Cut level three. Okay. View cut point in scan mode. Um, ah. You got quick access to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up your tool selector and choose the cutting tool. Emma Benton says, I, we believe in you. CookieCat94 says, I give them six minutes. So. <laughs> okay. Equip cutter with tool menu open. Cutter. The cutting tool has two modes. The first one is the stinger. It's designed for precision vaporization of cut points like this. Okay. You ready to perform some zero G surgery cutter? Not really. Well, let's split this scrap so it's light enough to move. Okay. How? Just cut. Get in range. We've been on the run. Ooh. That's how you do it. Okay. Okay. Let me boot up the processor so you can salvage these. Uh, do me a favor. Look on over at one of them there. Yeah, so I can see if they activate right. Yeah, perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. Me and technology ain't always the best. All right, place. good luck, hey, Weaver. All right, we're in business. Now swap over your grapple 
Toss one of those pieces you separated right in there. Boop. We've been on the run. Driving in the sun. Looking out for number one. Oh, can you move your camera up so we can see the objectives? Yes, Connects Master. I mean, I can try. There we go. Boop, This is a nice chill thing so far. Come on. Get in there. Well, okay. We're almost done getting this bay in shape. Let's go after that large ah. Oh, shot. God. Over there. Oh, God. Am I being pulled in? Uh Oh god. Your activity has dropped below nominal levels. Please return to work. Oh. Random work and it says grapple and pull yourself out. So close. Expired. Reason for replacement. Processing organic material can cause damage to to equipment. Cookie94 says, I was close. All right, fair enough. Thank you for the Fs in chat. Thomas Ogden is on a super chat saying, hello once again, Johnny and LSPs. I uh, once again bought a game thanks to your lovely self, Johnny. This time, Dwarf Romantic on Switch is good, isn't it? <sighs> okay, well. <sighs> Elizabeth Rakowski says, hey, Johnny, just tuned in. Uh, this is a super chat, by the way. What have I missed? Has cannibalism been mentioned yet? No, just now. Thanks uh, thanks to you, Elizabeth. Uh, thank you so much for that. I'm sure we'll get on to it later. Um, but yeah, right now I've just well, cannibalized myself by putting myself in a processor. Um, Septimus1026 says, This seems chill. Ten seconds later. Ah, shit. And next master, or connects master, says, To be fair, they did have warning stripes painted along the intake. Yep. The processor is incompatible with organic material. Next of kin will be billed for unreturned equipment. All right, all right. Breathe. Okay. You okay? Not really. Got yourself good there. Don't sweat it. Happens to the best of us. So, Always okay. good to review your spare replacement form. See how you can avoid future mishaps. Too many spares will rack up the debt, and that's how they get you. Okay. Seems like. Let's get back to work. We were out. Okay. I need to equip the split saw, but I just wanna wanna process this nanocarbon first. Kitten says they were moving closer and closer, and I was hoping it was a vacuum. Well, there you go. Oh, boop it multiple times to speed it up. Okay. There you go, look at that. Yeah, nice. Okay, thanks. Hooray! Now I need to equip my split saw. How do I do that? What's the split saw? Hello. Look at you. It's the saw that splits things. Oh, okay. But I thought that was the cutter. It's the saw that splits things. Oh, the cutter's other mode. Mode swap. There we go. Thank you, everyone. Uh, change angle of cut. We're in business. Okay. I've unlocked the trigger on your cutting tool. It'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm going to turn on your salvage indicator so you can track how much work there is left. To okay. Do. This thing will track how much you've salvaged and how much you've lost. For now, let's try and hit that first goal marker. Okay. 
And that's what it's all about, Carter. The more salvage goals you complete, uh -huh. the closer you'll get to hitting your certifications and ranking up. Okay. All right. Mankoy says, you'd think Johnny would have had enough of floating in space from Prey, but here we are. I know. To be fair, this seems a lot more chilled. Um, Because I'll tell you what we don't have in here. Where does this need to go? Is this, can it go in either? Does it need to go in the processor? Um, this There are no mimics here. There are no cystoids. It seems bloody lovely. Let me cut this up some more. Why not? When you link it to the grapple, it will tell you where to put it. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. CookieCat94 says, there are no mimics that you're aware of. Okay, so it wants to go in there. Okay. Cool. Material deposited. Account credit applied. This one wants to go in the furnace. And that's the furnace. Okay. Bye. <gasps> that was worth loads. Shift in the yard, Cutter. Let's head on over to your hab, and I'll show you the ropes there. Okay, we are. Head on over back to the master jack. I'll put a marker on it so you can find it easy. When you get there, head on in, and we'll get started. Thanks, Weaver. Thank you for being nice, even though I got myself killed. Hooray! Oh, I've almost dinged. Am I a good space go go cut up the thing, man? What's this? Hello. I didn't see you there. Hopefully this will be enough to ding me. Deposit accepted. <sighs> Alright. This is nice. This is nice. But Mankoy says, what if it's like the furnace from Control that is also some kind of elder god that hungers for human flesh? Can we just... Can we have a nice chill banjo cutting up the ship's time for a bit? Still trying to spook me. I know it's October. Oh, the bar is percent of job completely salvaged. Okay, alright, got it. Random working says, trying to give hints but also want to leave room to discover. Yeah, if we could find a nice balance between sort of helping me not make a complete ass of myself and um, not backseating, that would be great. I trust you, chat. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> the nice switch says, okay, so when does the time loop start? I guess when, whenever I just get myself killed. Seems to be how it worked for uh, the outer wilds, am I right? Mark Cohen says, I just realised, is it your new Eggy Boys which put you on the track for this game? Now, I'll tell you why I decided to play this game. Last night, I don't know even why I did it. I was, well, I was painting some, some Warhammer at my desk, and then I decided to watch a film, and I was like, what shall I watch? Ended up watching Alien Covenant, which is not a good film, but I had a great time watching it. And I was thinking to myself, in the first ten minutes, they're just doing, like, clunky admin tasks in a hard sci-fi atmosphere, and I was like, yeah, that sounds great. I'm in for that. Let's. Like, I'd, I'd watch a, two hours of just people doing satisfying clunky space tasks. And then, oh, this. This thrust has done a super sticker of a lemon person and a lime child jumping in the air and doing a high five. The lime child can jump alarmingly high up, which kind of makes me think that they have the same like physiology as a flea. Okay. Here we go. So, salvage 99.8%. Remaining 0.2, whatever. Destro nothing destroyed. I know there are timers in this, which will be annoying, but... <gasps> Quota complete! Level awarded. License upgraded. Yay! We're level 2 now. That's nice. Okie dokie. Let's end our shift.
Levi Coffee's done a super super chat saying thanks for the chill time, Johnny. It's appreciated. You're welcome, Levi. Everyone needs a chill time every now and then, I think. And it's Friday, you know, let's have a little wind down. Hello, ship breaker. Hello. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Okay. Ooh, look at this! It's my equipment. No, that's Where's my phone? Oh, there's my phone. Goodness me. Welcome to your new home, Cutter. There's everything you need. This is officially called a ready-made long-term employee habitation something or other. <laughs> Around here, we just call it your hab. Okay. Now, how's about you get yourself some rest? We'll pick up your training in the morning. Okay. A sleep time there, <laughs> <air> Cutter. <laughs> Live, laugh, salvage. Wow. <gasps> Can you unlock... Can you customize things? Or is that me going to sleep immediately? That's me going to sleep immediately, okay. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Okay. Uh, Emma Benton says, yes please, this week has been a disaster. Karina Rain says, it has been a week. Yeah, it's, yeah, it seems like, as per, quite a lot of people are, um, are, are having a time at the minute. I've had a bit of a weird week myself. So let's just sort of shake it off, you know? And then, you know, hopefully we can just cut up some spaceships. You cat! I just said spaceships. That's not what I meant to say. Well, I trust you all to to look past that and continue to be mature and responsible members of chat. Uh, TB Terror says you you can customize the posters, which is great, and you can earn stickers for your tools, including rare shiny ones. Ooh. Okay. New ship, mackerel, light cargo, and station hopper. Spares and use, safeguarding your career growth. That's a lot of emails. <clears throat> Good morning, shipbreaker. Reminder, minimum payments are due by 10 a.m. Solar Standard Time each day. Failure to pay on time is considered a breach of contract. Thank you for your hard work and cooperation. Great. I love indented servitude in uh, in space. Rise and shine, Cutter. Hope you feel well rested. Ready to continue your training? Okay. Let's have a look at your employee term. Okay. Now... Let's get caught up on career progression and certification. Okay. I've sent you a message with an explanation. Go on and give it a read. <laughs> Manko says, I have no plans to mock spaceship, but I am sending the word over to log on regular features in case he doesn't have any other feature ideas. Understood. Okay. Right, let's we've got six emails. There's so many emails. I live at inbox zero because nobody ever emails me. And now I've got six to read? And none of them are from Just Eat? This is rubbish. Clear as mud? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here to walk you through the process. Soon enough, I'm going to introduce you to some of the other shipbreakers. Rank 30? Most of them are willing to help you out, too. Okay. All right. Let's start a new ship and pick your first ship to work on. Okay. Tool scanner, structure mode. Ooh, you can look at, okay. Employee Financial Relief Program. Every privileged person who joins our family to become a shipbreaker comes with significant costs. Unfortunately, Lynx shoulders the burden of these co the, these costs temporarily. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. I'm in debt, got it. Salvage goals. New salvage goal system. Understood. New ship. Mackerel, light cargo, and station hopper. The Klein Co. Mackerel is the most common ship in the ship model in the colonies. The light cargo model is used for civilian cargo and contain a, can contain a wide variety of objects. You can fit so many objects in this, baby. The station hopper transport is outfitted with ad terminals. Electrical safety is advised. Our ships are simply the best recent safety reports are wrong, said Grenda Masterson, junior marketing associate at Kleinco. Uh, ne next master says, mmm, mackerel. I bloody love mackerel. <sighs> Spares and you. It's, you can die and come back, but it will cost you money. Understood. How do we... Enter the ship catalogue. Well, I guess that 
should still be on the terminal, right? Oh, wait. Look. T, start shift. Start shift. This screen shows which ships you have access to. Okay. Each morning, you can choose to continue working on the ship you got or start a fresh one. Okay. Go ahead and claim one. Okay. And we'll get to work. Uh, do we want the Pacific Mimas X, Pacific Crunch Maru, the Saucy Le, which I believe translate to, translates to the Saucy, or the Royal Dione uh, 14? They're all mackerels. Colin Laster says Saucy Le. Yeah, it's got to be the, it's got to be the Saucy Le, surely. Le Saucy Le. Salut! I'm here to cut you apart in a sexy way. Don't worry, everyone. Sergeant Orbit is on the case. She's all yours, Cutter. Your primary goal is to reach rank three. Now try to remember nanocarbon goes in the processor, aluminum goes in the furnace. Okay. Try to salvage the entire ship if you can. We call it using the. I've already bubble. forgotten. You'll hit your certs faster that way and start knocking out that dead of yours. Okay, nano... I'll be observing and giving you any help if you need it. Okay, nanocarbon goes in the furnace. We were out. Nanocarb... Wait. Aluminium goes in the furnace. And... Nanocarbon goes in the... <laughs> I f Why is this so hard? Look at all this. Look at all this stuff. Okay. Cutter. Mode swap. Yeah, I think we kind of want to give it one of these. Above cut... what? Above cut grade? Oh! Why is it making that horrible sound? Okay. Mode swap. Gun is overheat. Hmm. If you destroy a piece, you will lose money. Okay. Oh, go inside. Oh, I suppose going inside sounds good. Oh, you need to upgrade your cutter to cut the hull. Alright, well, I'll go inside then. Trent Steele says it should have a door. Look around. Trent, that is the most cutter name I've ever heard. I'm Trent Steele. Y'all wanna cut up this ship, you better go inside. Or as Dominate I uh, puts it, into the mines. Okay. Oh look, cut grade cut point, grade one. We can cut that. Okay. Yeah, Norton says the music is very Firefly, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to about to I'm about to discuss a lot of you, but never seen it. No, I should. Been told it's very, very good, but never seen it. Dan Keller says you'll learn to tell the cell when the cut point stops so you can let off the cutter. Okay. I know these ships look intimidating to scrap it. Yes. Trust me. Soon enough, you'll be stripping the huge gecko glass freighters like nothing. Okay. Got my star salvaging back down our side in a droid scrapping biz. <laughs> you know what made me come up here? <laughs> One day, we got a badge of this particular model in. One of them kinds with synthetic skin and everything. I love this. We almost never saw people looking ones like that. They're always too expensive to manufacture. Seems someone found a warehouse full of mothball for, oh, 20 years or so. Since the AI band took effect, probably bought the whole lot for pennies, thinking they could turn a tidy profit with the salvage. No word of a lie. These things looked exactly like my stepbrother Jed. 
He even had the same slack-jawed expression. <laughs> now, Jed and I weren't exactly pals or nothing, but all the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. And that's when I looked into getting on with Lynx. Okay. I tell you what, it's a sight better <laughs> to cut up something that doesn't look like a family relation. <laughs> anyway, I'm running on. I'll clear the channel. Holler if there's anything giving you grief up there, Cutter. Weaver out. Okay, Weaver, thank you. Oh, I'm outside again. Uh, Cheerful Spider was on the Super Chat saying, You've never seen insects lighting up their butts for sexy time? Oh, well, I've seen that. Obviously, everyone's seen that. But no, I've not seen the show. Uh, and also, you know, I mean, I'm not overly fussed about seeing it now. Thanks, Joss Whedon. Um, oops. But, uh... What are you? What are you? Are you something I can grapple? What? No, this. This. What is this? Okay, that's just floating around, but seemingly I can't grapple it. That's weird. Cut point grade one. Alright, well, let's just keep cutting. Oh, yeah, you can tell when it's gone off. Some tiny things are just set pieces as a random workings. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh, oh! Yes! Look at this shit. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. So now, grapple. Oh god, oh shit! No, come back. Come back. Come back. Okay. Where have, Oh, wait. Oh, the things are just here. Okay, great. Oh, and it is light enough to move. Okay, cool. Oh, God. There we go. Go on, get in there. Getting in there? Buddy? I can't come much closer. Yes! Okay. All right, saucy -la. Here we go. Right, let's do that again. That was fun. Cookie Cat 94 says, Remember, Johnny, Metal Guy Processor, you do not. You're not the boss of me. Okay, this is just good. Ah, oh, here we go. Right. Before, I was a little bit confused and slightly intimidated. But now... Oh, look at how it just drifts away. I love it. Right, where's the... Where's the... There's the... That's satisfying. Oh, I can tell I'm going to hate the timers on this. I've got a helmet light? Wow, I've got a helmet light. That's nice. Okay, what's next? I want to keep stripping out these panels, really. But... What are you attached with and to? I need to expose some of this stuff. <gasps> you there. Okie dokie. Raymond Cosplay says, The timers get a bit frustrating as they take you out of a groove, but fortunately they're not too oppressive. Okay, good. Trent Steele says, Trent Steele says the timer doesn't really mean anything when it arrives. There's no limit to the number of shifts you can spend on a single ship. Oh, it's just to break the game up into manageable chunks. Oh, well, that's all right then. Okay. Good. I'm pleased with that. So I know I'm taking bloody ages, so there's probably some experienced cutters out there. 
thinking that I'm going about this in a very weird way, but uh, I'm learning and I'm having fun. That's the important bit. And we haven't seen a spooky cat turn up. And, you know, no one's offered to buy me a beer and then run away. And that sort of thing, so that's good. Cheerful Spider's done this uh, super chat saying, This isn't really relevant to anything, but did you know all species of Firefly have different flashing patterns? There are also mimic Fireflies that copy patterns to lure in males and eat them. Wow! Holy shit! That is wild! Now, oh, oh, I see some sort, some sort of cockpit. That's so what I was doing. I was having a bloody lovely time cutting up all the panels and getting them off, right? But then, see, we've got these other bits where I can see that there are things I can cut, but I haven't got in there yet. But this seems cuttable. This is Tom for the wind says, no one's offered to buy me a beer then run away. Look Johnny, I told you I forgot my wallet and I was very embarrassed. Oh Tom, I'm sorry. Oops. Come here, thruster cap. I'm going to thrust a cap in, in your processor. Maxsmith2013 says, Look at my shiny flashing ass, is my new pickup line. Let me know how that goes. That just feels so good. I need... My friend Tired needs to play this. It's right up his street, I think. Come on, come on, look. Just get. Yes, okay. Phew. Valuable deposit, eh? Valuable. For 14 says, Kit bash your own ship with the parts and run away from your debts. Well, that sounds quite good. Random Working says, I want to go play on my own save now, but I'm invested in watching just to see how you approach things. Slowly and in zero gravity. Thank you. Here we go. Here we fucking go. This is more like it. I love that it gives off a tiny little bit of light when it goes. Now, is this free? Yeah, it is. Come here. You're coming with me, baby. Oh, no, you're not. You're stuck in there, baby. Don't worry, sweet sweetheart. Sergeant Orbit's going to get you out one of these days. Wait, can I rotate it? No, it's just massive. Okay. I don't know, I, this is, this is tapping into an element of the same sort of like space trucker vibe I used to get from Elite Dangerous when I was just off exploring. Um, which is to say that I kind of want a beer. <laughs> and I want to put a hat on and I want to start saying things like, yeah. <sighs> so that'll probably happen at some point. Times it. Wow, I've been live for nearly an hour? This game's fly like, ha! It's flying by? Uh, no, but for real, like, this game's really good. And, uh, uh, ah! Why haven't I been just been playing this for my entire life? I'm having a lot of fun. I thought there'd be more cutting up individual panels, to be honest. But it turns out the grapple gun is really good. Emma Benton says, oh my god, I have a cowboy-related pun that'll be perfect for whenever that happens. Brilliant, Emma. Because uh, I've got a I've got a cowboy hat that looks dreadful on me. So everyone gets to enjoy something. This is... Oh, nom 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 nom. This is delicious. I really like this game.
Okie dokie. Let's try and reorient ourselves. Unfortunately, my sense of direction in space is bad. And that's saying something, because my sense of direction in games not in space is also bad. Right. Oh, hello. Right, let's just... This, like, detective mode thing is brilliant. Okay, so let's go outside the ship. Go back in by where its butt was. Because we were making good headway there. MacSmith2013 says, put on the cowboy hat or I'll switch streams. I mean, I'm not inclined to to, to comply with such a, a rude all caps request. Not even a request, a threat, a demand. But if it means anything to you, I will be putting the hat on at some point because I think it's funny. But I'm So when the hat goes on, it's because I think it's funny, not because you threatened me with uh, reducing my um, concurrent viewers by 1 227th. Levi Coffee is on a super chat saying, I'm finishing my daily Spelunky run, then booting this up. You got me with this one. Well done. Yes! All right, Levi. Raymond Cosplay says, imagine that in VR. Is this in VR? Because that is intriguing. Not intriguing enough that I want a VR headset, but... Although I've always said if I got a VR headset, it would be to play Elite Dangerous. this way, buddy. Oh no, that's going to reel me in. Come on. Sean Shivers says, okay, so the, the hat is good and all, but have we considered assless chaps? <laughs> Consider them in what, in what regard? Like, I, I've considered, I know they exist. I have considered them in a philosophical bush way. Ow. But, uh, oh my god, this is... Right. Stay. Stay. You're cut level one, aren't you? So let's... Yeah, you cut level one. Oh, there's a titanium panel and nanocarbon, but they both need to go in. Above cut grade. That's cut level two. The titanium's cut level one. Oh, that's a bit of fun, isn't it? But not really solving my problem. My problem is that that is an unwieldy thing. Coriomaleum. Oh my god, Coriomaleum's right. Coriomaleum says all chaps are assless. Shit, they are. What it is tautological to say assless chaps? Unless you are talking about a group of men who have very flat bottoms. But that's a whole different thing. I'm looking forward to being able to do the, the chaining things together and throwing them into the thing in a cool way while my daughter talks thing we saw in the intro. I fully admit I'm not ready for that yet, but... Yes. Oh, this is nice. B Mozza, hello. B Mozza says, "Hey folks, it's been ages since I caught a live stream. Hope you're all keeping well. Loving the backing music. Feels very Firefly. Yeah, you are not the first to uh, to have said that. Okay. Cut level. So the cut level's one on this. This aluminium. Cut level's one on all of this. So does this mean I can just start?" Uh, Yeah. Yeah, that's what it means. Okay. So I can start sort of just furnace, furnace for this. Raw material deposited. Transferring credits. 
Okay, so I can just start hacking up this stuff. Can I also cut through that, like, girdery bit? Yeah, oh, I destroyed it. Oh no, I destroyed some aluminium. -nium -nium. Oh god. Okay, right. Shouldn't have destroyed that. Right, so if I cut up these aluminium bits, it'll free up those panels, but that'll cost me cash. So I'll tell you what, I'll stop dicking around with that. And I'll get back to just cutting the little support struts, because we like those, don't we? Oops. I just, I fucking love this stuff. I'm already, like, I'm right back in reading the Expanse books, where it's just like, they went to the replicator and dispensed some noodles. They weren't that tasty. They ate them. They threw them in the recycler. They went to bed. It wasn't that comfy. They would be in a different part of space soon. It wouldn't be that nice. <laughs> and then Jim Holden said, you know, I love it. Lucy says also cowboy axe and plus space equals the Martians in ex the Expanse to me. Yes, I agree. And Mankoy says, in fact, to Lucy, this is a very sort of Mars job too, isn't it? Got to break down those ships to upgrade the fleet. I agree. <laughs> Cheerful Spider says they went to bed. It wasn't comfy. They ate the bed and threw it in the recycler. <laughs> threw it in the recycler. It's funny. Out of range. It's just, I really love the like small, small jobs, granular stories against a really grand, sort of big setting. Wee! Okie dokie. So, like, What I'm struggling with a little bit here is sort of like visualizing or conceptualizing how to separate these larger bits. Which is which is to say I've run out of just easy marked out for me cut points. So does this mean I should start hacking up the big bits? I can't just remove that bit, can I? Because it's attached. You can push them a little to separate them. Oh, really? You've got a whole side of the ship you can peel off, according to Dan. Alright. Oh, isn't just, like, peel off the things? <gasps> oh, shit! Look at all this stuff I've cut loose! <laughs> oh, you can't see the ship for the trees, Johnny. Fucking hell. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, you're getting in the processor, my son. It's hard to see, but the white outlines show separate parts. Alright. Okay. Alright, oh, okay. What a polite little shipbreaker I am. Aha. You there. Yes! Getting a fucking processor. Dlilling! Salvage goal one reached. Come on. Get in there. Also, if you they sparkle blue when you grapple them, they're loose. Okay. Now we're talking. Hell yeah. 
Oh. Real man. Oops. Oh shit. Oh god. Get everyone in the processor. Come on. Come by. Up, 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 up. What does it mean when it's red and it's making a horrible noise? <laughs> nice which says, that's a paddling. Oh, yeah, don't get too close to the processor. Lionel, Lionel Bayer says, now this is space salvaging. I'll try depositing. That's a good trick. Yes, 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 yes. Hooray! Enter Hab to rank up. But there's so much more to take. That's not loose. Where else? Is there anything else that I've cut loose that's just adrift? Ah, uh, the red and the noise mean that the tether's about to break. Okay, understood. Okay, I think we're doing alright. <gasps> you there! Yeah, get in the bin. Processor deposit accepted. Yes. Credits awarded. Thank you. Okay. Now then, my little spaceship friend. Hello. Didn't see you there. I'm so sorry. I cut you loose earlier and then just left you drifting in space. There's old, uh, presumably planet Earth there. Now. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go back over here. You're loose. Come here, mate. Apparently cockpits are a bugger, as uh, they're mixed material not always easy to separate. So says Dan Kelleher. Come on, pal. Come on. Oh, I'm having so much fun with this. This is so nice. And it is it is it controls the same way as as the the microgravity stuff in uh, in prey, but we're just having a nice chill time cutting up a ship. I love it. Now that's just a panel. It's not loose. But this whole thing is just one big chunk. Can I move this whole thing? Surely I can't. We're so close to ranking up. Okay, I'm gonna i I'm gonna try something here. I'm just curious. Which is. Ooh! Ah, I destroyed the door. Okay, well that's bad, but look, I mean, the door's not completely gone. Sure, it's not worth pretty much anything now, but we can still ping it into the fucking... Oh, that was satisfying, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. I was about to say, accept my raw material, but uh, then I realised that would be a terrible thing to yell. So instead, I told you that I was going to do it, thereby putting the thought into your heads. Um, and just generally drawing the moment out far longer. Where's that other half of a door gone? Is that it? Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Into the 
fajn, jestli vy. So, my thought is, what if I separate these two sides by cutting through these bits, but then I think actually that's just going to... Is that going to ups is that going to upset the the lady? Let's try. Okay, that's all right. That's destroyed that. I'm just This is the bit I'm struggling to get my head around. So I'm just going to keep experimenting. It's alright if I don't get loads of money. Oh, wait. Hmm. Hey, look. That's, that's what I wanted. I've cut that bit. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Am I getting in trouble? Yes. Come here, rubbish bit of aluminium. Come on. Up. Steady. Ping! Oh, God, do not. Oh, there's some other stuff we can get in there. Um, I'm even going to say it in a French accent. Like, what is the best way to go about cutting up this part of the ship so I can just get it in there? Because I was thinking about cutting all of this bit and throwing these in there. And now I'm curious about... Uh, uh, where do I make the cut? Is the... What, is the... The bright yellow cut point as in like that's where you can make a cut without destroying it you were good with the small cuts along the center the two sides are heavy but movable okay ah the nice which says le knife of course don't cut just push a couple of times but what I can't grapple this whole thing It's all furnace material, so I can technically throw the whole thing in. But I don't think... I mean, that sent me off. Right? Like, there's no way I can do this. That's not doing anything. Right. I'm gonna... Right, I'm gonna do what I was thinking about doing here. And I'm gonna... Fuck it. A little bit wasteful, sure. But I would like to separate these two halves, please. Okay. Whoop. I mean, okay, that's having an impact on it. Space imp deep impact. God damn it. Deep impact. That's the joke I should have made. There we go, look. F -f -f 14 says, wait, wasn't your debt clearly listed in dollars? Why are you getting paid in credits? Maybe credits are like a proprietary currency for the company? Company store credit, says Andy Raff. There you go. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that.
Bye bye. Bye say bye bye. Get in there. Thank you. All right. What's next? What's that? <gasps> yes. Hooray! Okay. Look, it's my aluminium structures. Wait, have I already reached? I'm set two, but it says. Oh shit, have I already ranked up? Can I go back to my hab? Without bothering with any of this? Dan Keller says it will go eventually. Things get drawn in once they get close enough um, to the furnace processor. And now I really will shut up. Dan, you're doing fine. Hit better targets for more rewards. All right, let's let's have a let's have a little go around inside the cockpit. Um, I guess we could just come back to it, but no, let's we're here, we're here. Let's we may as well. It pays to be thorough. But then I want to do the whole bit where it's like, oh, let's get a beer and put on a cowboy hat and talk about our day. But you know what? you got to work for the, the right to put on your cowboy hat and have a beer and talk about your day. That's what being a cowboy is all about, I assume. The fuck is that? A little drumstick. Okay. Is this stuff loose now? Yes, it is. Little poke. Come here. Dominate I says, not if you have a union. Unfortunately, to get this job, you had to sign a I promise I won't be in a union waiver. In you go. Ooh, that was worth a good chunk, wasn't it? Where have you gone, ship? There you are. Right, okay. Now. Ah, you're free as well, are you? You'll be coming this way then, won't you, my friend? <laughs> my lad? Furnace. Furnace? But a minute ago, you said processor. All right. Wait a minute. No, you are all aluminium. All right. Oops. Bank shot. Yeah, that was satisfying because it had momentum and then I conserved it, but also told it to fuck off with my grapple. Oh, that's very satisfying. The kind of way you can almost like... Oh, that was great. <sighs> Big fan. Big fan. Okay, so. Yes, I see this now. Right. Hey! Final salvage goal released. Uh, reached, eh? Okay, so this glass needs to go into the furnace. But unfortunately, it's still in the thing. And the vast majority of it needs to go into the processor. And he's already going there, to be honest. I will worry about getting the glass out of a cockpit some other day. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. To the right, please. Thanks, buddy. It can be cut out, says Trent Steele. No, now it can't, Trent. It's on its way into the processor. Doodle, doodle, do. What's this little doodad? Oh my god, that glass was expensive. That they docked me so much for the glass. Oh well, back to the hab. Whoops a daisy. Boop. 
Yeah, we'll go back to the hab. Okay, I just destroyed 3.9% of the ship. I think that's pretty fine. Oh, I wrecked a door, some glass, some 75 kilograms of aluminium in fairness, and not, well, uh, 84 kilograms, but oh well. Look how much we did get. That's fine. Certification review. Mmm. Yes. Lovely. And we're decent. We're over halfway to rank four, so that's nice. Uh, MP earned 50 mump, and I've earned 30 lilt, 30 cans of lilt, and I've got a repair kit. Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it? Well, it's, you know what? Uh, oh, I should have done it then, because we're about to start a new day, aren't we? Or are we going to be back in the hab? Yes, back in the hab. Oh no, it's the morning. Today's weather report, clear and sunny, <laughs> with a high of minus 270 degrees. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Alright, well, I'm going to go to the fridge, and then we're, gonna, we're all going to put on our cowboy hats and have a beer and talk about how our first day went. Be right back. One sec. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's the first day went pretty well. Yep. Oh my god. Emma Benton has done a super chat. This is the pun. Cowboys used to hang their lanterns off their saddles to see better at night. It's the first instant of instance of saddle light navigation. I fucking love it. Oof. Ooh, my hat's all dusty. Well, being a shipbreaker so far is pretty great. I like it. The corporation's really, um... Corporation's really horrible. Breaking up ships is a dream. This hat's too small for my head. Max Smith 2013 says, Doesn't look half bad, Johnny. Yeah, but wait. Wait until I put it on like this. Can I borrow three thousand pounds? <laughs> it's just amazing, like Husky Cowboy Trust Fund Douchebag at a festival. Can I borrow three thousand pounds? Do you wanna come see my show tonight? I play synth. We all play synth, etc. etc. Uh but anyway, sorry, hang on, we're doing a different bit right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. All right. 
Black Shield Forge says, I have that exact hat. Me too. Um, I hope it looks better on you than it does on me, because it's, like I say, it's ever so slightly too, too small. I mean, I love this hat. I bought it when I first started uh, playing Deadlands, so it was my role-playing hat. Because not only was did it make me feel like a cowboy, but because I was quite nervous, any time I was a bit like, oh god, I'd just be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then you're like, moody cowboy. So there are three states of being in this hat. There's moody cowboy, there's cowboy who's looking at you, and there's, can I borrow 3,000 pounds? There you go. There you go. That's that's the hat. Now, after wearing it for like 90 seconds, my forehead's quite red. So, um, anyway. Blade time's over. Let's go cut up a ship. Weekend Minis has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, just a shout out to my wife. On Wednesday we celebrated 18 years together, half our lives, and 9 years married, half our relationship. Holy shit, that's impressive. Couple of meridians. Very good. Um... The Nice Witch says, okay, grand, I have to go to work now. Glad I could catch up with my cowboy pals. Take care, everyone. Man, how you go, the Nice Witch. Um, the Nice Witch is great. Um, Sarah, I hope work goes well. I hope you get to drive the bus all the way there. Um, and, uh, yeah, if uh, you want to catch the Nice Witch streaming on Twitch, it's twitch.tv forward slash the Nice Witch. T-H-E-E, -E, Nice Witch. Tiger's Eye 120 says, what's that £3,000 joke about? I just, like, I, I feel like this hat, when it's worn like this, there's a very specific kind of art wanker in the UK. Like, I've met a lot of them in London who are just like, they just, they will take and take and take and take from people and not see anything wrong with it. If anything, they feel like they're enriching other people's lives. They're just like, yeah, I'm just amazing. But, like, can I, can I borrow £3,000? Um, because they just expect everything to be handed to them, and they, they have no intention of ever paying that back, etc, etc. So there we go. Right, anyway. Let's go cut up a ship. <gasps> Look at my sticker! A perfect salvage of over 95%. Don't worry, don't mind if I do. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Good morning, shipbreaker. Minimum payments are due by 10 a.m., yada, yada, yada. Select a new ship. Now go ahead Ship. Well, I'd like to look at the equipment room, actually. Workstation. Equipment. Stickers. How can I see the ones I've unlocked? Probably if I stop... Stop to... Stop scrolling so fast, I could find it. There it is. Hee hee hee. Fun. Okay. Equipment. When can upgrading equipment? Repair. Okay. Helmet upgrades. Tier requirement not met. Yeah, tier requirement not met. Okay, cool. Great. Ah, five, seven. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I assume it will tell me when I can do stuff. So have a look at my suit. There's me, look. That's what I look like. Here are all my posters. Decor Link's home. Decor Link's home. <gasps> oh, that's much cooler. Live, laugh, salvage, obviously. Yeah, love it. Claire de Bear has done a super chat saying, Is this debt a debt sim in space? How do you win? Uh, by, by, um, you, by getting, get, getting to the end of the day, putting on your hat, cracking a, cracking a beer, and asking to borrow 3,000 pounds. That's how you win, Claire de Bear. Thank you very much for the super chat and for watching. I hope you are well. Um, Neck of the Kitty says, The reason cowboy hats are called 10 gallon is the Americanization of Tan Galan, which means handsome man in Spanish. Intriguing. Let's start that shift, shall we? Mm hmm. Ooh, heavy cargo mackerel. Hazard level two. Hazard level two. I mean, let's do a new some a new one, right? Let's do something new. Let's do the corpulent umbriel. Excuse me, the corpulent umbriel maru. 
Oh, there's the royal badger. Let's do it. What's the hazard? We'll find out. Claiming a new ship will clear the salvage bay of your existing ship. All remaining salvage will be forfeit to links. Begin salvage? Yes. That's fine. Oh, they're all ha hazard level 2. Well noted, Dominati. All right. All right. Hold up a second there, Cutter. Okay. Because you've increased your rank, we're going to give you the next grade of ship. Yeah. Now this one will be full of machinery, electronics, furniture, all stuff that links can collect and resell. All right. You're going to want to throw those items on the barge. That's uh, the big green thing below you. Oh. Go ahead. Have a look. <gasps> Valuable objects or components down there. Don't worry about breaking anything. There's a dampening field that'll catch everything. Works great. Most of the time. Alright, Weaver. Let's give it a go. Hell yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Orthogonalist says electronics. There is just something very calming about that sort of voice, isn't there? Wow, lots of things here. What's kumped? We'll find out. Let's get inside. Let's get inside the old girl and uh, see what we got. Doors on the other side, I'd wager. Hello, the door. Oh, that goes to the barge. Oh, and that's just ready to pull off. That's the airlock console. Okay. Beep. Well, that's great. Of course, this, I assume, means that there are more things I need to look out for and not destroy in order to uh, not lose the credits. Hmm. Oh, steady on. Oh, Christ. No, 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 no. Don't put it on the barge. Processor. Oh, Christ. That'll do. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transferred. Thank you. Thank you for my credits. Where's that other bit? Another bit went pinging off. Or so I thought. Okay, well. Yeah, it was it was the, the little strut bit. Hatna Kick says, Hey Johnny, how are you liking this game? Bloody love it. Bloody love it so far. I think it's magnificent. You belong on the barge. You're cut level three. Dang it. This whole thing? This whole... The entire day? The whole thing belongs on the barge, apparently. All right. Cutter. <laughs> Mark Cohen says another bit went pinging off, just like building Warhammer. Yup. That's satisfying. All right, well, let's bag this other one because this goes on the barge. Just about see me little sticker there. James JWR says that's chunky nacelle. What's a nacelle? I mean, I know it's one of these, but what's 
functionally it what? Right, it's on the barge. Transferring credits. It's a booster, says random workings. Thruster says dominate I. Okay, cool, good to know. Yes! Just pull the bits off the ship! Housing for an engine. Right. Nice work. Got that pretty quickly. Thank you. Now, let me teach you about the kiosk. Okay. Once the training wheels come off, Link's regulations mean you gotta cover your own oxygen and fuel costs. Ugh. That's the way things go. Turning it on now. What? No! Now, no need to panic. They'll last you a good while. But if you end up running out, you gotta top up at the kiosk over there. Let's have a look. Where's the kiosk? Kiosk? What's my hat? Where's the kiosk? Ah! There you are, you naughty little... Thought you could get away from me. Come here! You're not out of range! Oh, I'm trying to cut you. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Right, where's the kiosk? Thank you, you're welcome. Eh. Activate terminal. Welcome right. to Ventatron 9000. Ventatron 9000. Mmm. Demo charges and tethers, eh? Okay, cool. I don't need any of this stuff, so. Boop beep. Pretty easy, right? All right, I'll leave you to it. We'll chat again when you hit the next plane. Thanks, buddy. Weaver out. Love you, Weaver. You're really nice. You're much nicer than the Weavers in Prey. Cat from the Kong has done a super sticker. The super sticker. Um. Come on, get on the barge. Yes! Get on the barge. The super sticker is of the pear person. The pear person has gone out and got knuckle tattoos. The knuckle tattoos read fist and bump. So Cat from the Kong's just been like repeated like fist, bump, fist, bump, fist, bump. Of course, I haven't got hands tattoos. The pair has now ruined any chance it has of respectable employment in an office or, or elsewhere. A really silly decision, actually. More full the pair. But thank you very much, Cat from the Kong. Hetna Kick has done a super chat. Big super chat. Jesus, thank you very much. Um, that's very, very generous. Um, thanks for all the lovely videos keeping me entertained while I've been off work. I start my new job Monday, so I'll be on the VOD squad starting then. But here's a nice super chat as a thank you gift. That's really kind. Thank you. Um, that's bloody lovely. Um, and congrats on the new job, and, uh, I hope it all goes well. The first day of any job is always so weird, because you're kind of, you know, getting oriented and, like, there's, you don't really end up doing much work, generally. You're just sort of meeting people and getting put through your paces, but it's still so intense, so, yeah, best of luck. Now then, we like this bit, I'm going to cut the bum off the ship. you go. Nice. Okay, now what in here needs go barge? There's something needed, needed go barge. Processor 
Capture deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Oh, this is so satisfying. Move this out of the way. That still won't. Oh, it will on this one. No, it won't. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. <sighs> Shaz the Great and Powerful has done a super chat. The super chat reads Johnny, have you tried using the Zamata? So I believe now it is my job to say, What's a Zamata? And then I, I firmly believe that what Shaz the Great and Powerful will say is, nothing, what's the matter with you? Which got a sensible chuckle out of my spouse, who just overheard that. So, fair play, I guess? Come here, little fuel tank. Fuel tank, come here. Riley Doherty, meanwhile, has done a super chat. Uh, but the super chat is blank. Um, oh! Ooh, steady. Um, Riley, if there was meant to be a message attached to that, just let me know uh, by just typing it normally. Um, and I will read it out with all, all the usual fanfare I, I give to Super Chats. I think that's going to... That will hit the barge. That's going to go on the barge. Don't worry about it, Charlie. It's fine. God, this game's good. What a treat. What a treat. It's really weird. Like, chill games like this, I can either go absolutely wild for them, or, hello, pick up. Yes, please. I would like it. I like suit patch kit. Great. Um, I can go absolutely wild for them, or games like, uh, like I've already said, I think, uh, that I found... Um, I really didn't get on with Pressure Washer Simulator, which is kind of a similar thing to this, but it isn't, you know? Um, Cat from the Kong has done a, a big old super chat this time, a big old super chat, thank you Cat, um, saying, lots of love for my three doggos to you and Watson, you're a seemingly inexhaustible source of niceness and it's well appreciated. That's so lovely, thank you, that is very, very kind. Um, nah, that's not going anyway. Um, I, I do my best. <laughs> um, I try and be nice because there's enough nastiness just doing the rounds in general. That's going on a bloody... B oh no, shit, wait. Okay, so this bit in particular... Yes, there we go, it's attached it. Okay, great. I like the barge element. I like the added uh, wrinkle there. Especially since it's all pretty light, so you can just absolutely smash it toward the ground. Oh, this game's great. Oh, God! Yeah. Mm hmm. Thanks, Weaver. I didn't realize. Ooh. Apparently, I'm trying and succeeding. Yes! Oh, yeah! Uh, Random Working says, Hint for fast movement. Tether and pull on the space beach things. But remember to break. Yes. Thank you. I will have a nice day, I think. Unless I blow myself up. Yeah, look at this. Whee! Ooh. That's bloody great. Alright, now. Let's get back in there. Cut some of these grade one cut points. Um, would people like a little five minute break? Because uh, I realise we've not had one. And, um... I'm going until 7 today. Uh, uh, rather than 8. So now would be the time for us to do it if we want it. 
let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let me just poke this last thing into the barge and then where's the massive bit? There's the massive bit. This goes in the processor. David Story says finish the ship first. This is gonna take that'll take forever. I haven't even hit the first level. Let's take a let's take let's take a five minute break. Go on, get in there. Mark Cohen says, I've got to head out. Anyway, thanks for the nice time. Have a great weekend, Johnny and Pals. Take care, Mark. I hope you're doing all right. Uh, right, yeah. Let's take, let's take a five-minute break. So I'm going to pause the game. There we go. And then uh, uh, five minutes. Do some stretching. Hydrate if you need to. Are you too warm? Are you too cold? Uh, is there anything you need to do in the next five minutes uh, that will enhance your enjoyment of the rest of the stream? If so, go and do it. If not, enjoy the smooth jazz and a picture of my dog. Be right back. Hello. Was that five minutes? Probably wasn't five minutes, was it? We're back, though. Hello. Neck of the Kitty says, Still the most boopable snoot in the world of Watson. Please, Johnny, give her a, her noggin a smooch for us. She is good as girl. I will. Uh, we just took delivery of some new treats. Um, and uh, apparently she loves all of them, which is good. Right. Okie dokie. So, oh, my O2 does go down quite swiftly. Turns out breathing is a, it's a whole big thing. Why can I hear some radio chatter? That's weird and fun.
Okay, so the pipe junction goes in the processor, which is great, because this goes in the processor also. So, what I'd like to do is get the cutter going here. Cat from the Kong says, is it because they're luxury snack, or is Watson an easy-to-please dog snack-wise? Uh, she's... She's relatively easy to please. There are very few things she doesn't like. The things she doesn't like are actually things that used to be treats for her. Like, she used to love, um, like, carrots and, um, cucumber. And now she's like, no. So, like, she doesn't, she doesn't love all of that stuff. Um, but, uh, what's all this? Ooh, hello. Thruster fuel. Yeah, I'll take that. Come on. Oops. Oh no, I pushed it. Oh god. Oh god, I just pushed the canister with thruster fuel. And then I grabbed it into my face. Um, no, Watson's pretty, pretty, she's not picky, but I think these treats are just like, they're just new and exciting and there's a, a whole variety, so. I think that's fun. Corey Harrison has done a super chat saying, hi Johnny. Or hey Johnny, excuse me. Uh, finally caught a live stream, just want to say you're doing a great job. I love Hobbs Barrow. And for old time's sake, could you do a level two helmet shout out? I've, I, I, I'd be honoured. You're a level two helmet. Oh, I've not said those words in a very long time. And my O2 is pretty, pretty low right now. Let's see if I can get this in the bin before I uh, asphyxiate. Set the responsible spacer. I was weirdly thinking about those streams just earlier today. I was thinking about the uh, looks like we found our quarry business, which I just thought was so funny. Uh, and Chris thought was so funny. And Aoife did not especially find funny. Boop! Okay, I'm just going to have to trust those go in. Here we go. There we go. Ooh, shit! Angel Beat says, oh, those streams were such a good time. They were a giggle, weren't they? They were very weird, but good fun. Welcome to Vintage 9000. It is... It's fun to have a game that you just dick about with people in. I think that's why I enjoyed, enjoyed playing um, Sea of Thieves so much with, uh, with pals as well. Riley Doherty has done another super chat. Oh no, I'm sorry. I, I should have seen your chat message um, and read it out rather than you having to resend the super, super chat. Uh, but uh, Riley says, hey, meant to say hi and thank you for being a source of support for us all. You helped me realise I was non-binary. P.S. Don't worry about the money. I love supporting good folks. Oh, Riley, that's so kind of you. And uh, congrats on on realising you're an MB and uh, on on coming out. It's I don't know from experience. It's it's a it's a it's a wild ride and it can be quite scary. So hats off to you. And I hope you are just living in a constant state of gender euphoria. So there. Oh, hello. Look. Hello. Hello, love. Hello, love. We'll have these panels off in a heartbeat, mate. Come on. Come on. That's right. That's right. Look at you floating fancy free. Oh, no. I quite I know that you don't have to tether in order to push, but I quite like doing it. it just feels fun. <gasps> oh no! I did it again. Oh okay, well I got a good amount of money, but there was some stuff I should have separated off there. Whoopsie daisy. Oh yeah, look at this. But it's only this 
Can I just pull this off? Well, uh, well hang on a bloody minute. Right, nanocarbon, nanocarbon. Ah, the aluminium. So yeah, I reckon. Let's let's test a the theory. If I bish this, no, can't. Cut levels too high. Well, now this is interesting because it's just okay. All right. So the aluminium panel is worth twenty-eight grand. And then we've got a titanium panel which is worth 11 grand. And a nanocarbon thing which is worth 2,742. So really we should be lobbing this in the furnace. But ideally, what we'd actually like to do is, is do something with that. But we simply don't have the cut level, so never mind. Wraith Shadow Heart has done a super chat saying, Dang it, Johnny, you made me buy another new game. I'm sorry. This is why I try and play lots of... Uh, Oh, try the split cutter, maybe. Dan says you'll try, you'll destroy it trying to get the bar off. I don't mind destroying the bar. I just want to, I want to separate these two out if I can. Let's try this, let's try this. Above cut grade. And I could cut the titanium panel but that would destroy it now nah, we're just gonna we're just gonna lob it we're gonna lob it in the thing um yeah sorry Wraith I do try and stream I, I look to uh, games pass quite a lot to try and to try and uh, uh, pick games because you know uh, Object not accepted. Please revisit your training. Ooh. seems like you have accepted it that end <laughs> Sorry, because uh, I know a lot of people will either have an Xbox or a or a PC, so that sort of covers more formats than looking for PlayStation exclusives, and also saves me money because I'm on Game Pass anyway. But yeah, I appreciate that sometimes I am just just getting people excited about Super Patch Kit. Oh no, I've put oh fuck! Come here, oh god! Come here, Super Patch Kit. No. <laughs> No, no, Johnny, Johnny, no, Johnny, no! You've got to, you've got to, you've got to stop tethering it in order to pick it up. Right here, look, look, look. You can even break. Okay, now let it let go. Now you collect it. Fucking hell. Defects says no Xbox, no gaming PC, only PS and Switch. Yeah, sorry, defects. I'd try and mix it up. I play PS things as well. And switch things sometimes, but yeah. Uh, Nick Jeffrey has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, I'm confused. You've streamed on Tuesday and Friday this week and it's completely thrown me off my game. You monster. Brackets, haha, joking. I know, it's weird, isn't it? But uh, Monday I had plans, and then Wednesday I had plans, and I worried that I would be a bit tired on Thursday. So I switched the, the stream. I actually didn't end up doing the Wednesday plans, but long story short, Hey, I've, I've switched them. The the oh, yeah. Gosh darn it. We were out. Thanks, Weaver. You're always there when I'm about to uh, asphyxiate because I'm not paying attention. Whack Poo Brain Horse says, Wait, it's Friday? I'm sorry, it's Friday. It's Friday. You've got to get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Weekend. Um, yeah, I streamed on Tuesday and Friday uh, this week. Emma Benton says, Johnny, why? Listen, Emma, I don't know if you've looked at it. I don't know if you've seen uh, Rebecca Black's Instagram. Uh, recently, but I, I'm just going to be perfectly honest. I, I'd like her to step on me. I'd let her choke me unconscious and I'd say thank you. There, I said it. Not even sorry. Cut point grade two. Up oh, yours, cut point grade two. Uh... 
Oh, a lot of you saying dot, dot, dot. Come on. Just saying. <laughs> Emma Benton says things I wasn't expecting to hear today. That. Not sorry. Not sorry in the slightest. Okay, right, we got some more. Hello, fuel tank. You look dangerous. Let's try and free up the fuel tank without exploding ourselves. Ooh, hello, you belong on the barge, so we'll take that. Corvus Albright has done a super chat saying, floating through space haiku for floating through space haiku time. Have a lovely float. Fix the mechanical shits. Let George Clooney go. <laughs> Very good. Valeria699 says, just had a look, and they are right. Thank you. Okay, now let's be very careful with this fuel tank. Wait, yes, which is free. Risa Are says, uh, uh, Hey Johnny, did you play Arid? It's free to play survival on Steam. It's Arid! I haven't. Survival games are hit and miss with me. Alex Simkin says, I'm back, how's space going? Space is going great. Also, I may have... No, space is going great, that's all you need to know, actually. Nick Jeffrey says, I have a sore head. I had a book land on it this morning. I only had my shelf to blame. Very good, Nick. Thank you for the super chat and for the... Uh... I actually did have two books fall on my head this morning and a plant, thanks to one of the cats. Luna decided to take a bite out of a plant managed to lift the plant out of its pot uh, and then drop it on my head and then two books came down as well. So, yeah. Hello, titanium structure. structure. We're going to get you in the processor. Random Working says they already moved two of these and didn't care, but now they're being all cautious. Only because that one was massive. Valuable object accepted for it was enormous. Oh my goodness, O2 goes down quickly, doesn't it? Or am I just very, very slow? Could be both. Quite a lot of work goes into salvaging an entire ship, doesn't it? Who knew? Weaver, Weaver knew. Oops. The thing is, right, I'm now determined. Absolutely, right, this needs to go on the barge. I'm absolutely determined. Steady absolutely determined to fill up my OT before Weaver reminds me, because otherwise Weaver's going to think I'm just silly. Come here, storage bin. No. Yes! Great. I'm so thorough. Oh, this game's great. It's just bloody great. Okay. Don't tell me, Weaver. I know, I know. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Killjoy695 says, Is this live or pre-recorded? It's pre-recorded, Killjoy695. Currently, for me at least, it's Tuesday. Oh, God. Oh, God. I mean, I'm dead, right? Wait, I'm not dead? Get in the hab. Get in the hab. Oh, I'm dead. Cover 
Killjoy695 says, just got here so I didn't know. Oh, I'd, sorry, I'd, like, no, I was just doing a bit. Like, I, I didn't, I wasn't trying to, like, I wasn't trying to, like, be sarcastic and tell you off or anything. I just thought it was funny to try and claim that I've been... Exposure to vacuum is fatal. Right, got it. Uh, I just thought it was funny to, 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 to make it seem like I, I was prescient somehow. Whoops-a-daisy. How was I going that fast? Cutter, I'll say one thing. Certainly ain't afraid of I'm not. You might want to try and keep your spares to a minimum if you want to pull yourself out of debt. Right. Uh, Dominate Eye says, uh, use patch kits. Oh, my... My face was... exposed to the ether. I'll remember. 30 seconds of useful consciousness when thrown in vacuum. Also, I've read somewhere, says Anonymous. Wow. That's upsetting. Moving on the run. Pipe junction. Why do we want to cut off the pipe junction? We don't really. Okay, let's see now. We've got stuff for the processor. The stuff for the furnace. Let's keep cutting off these panels. They're nice and easy, and then we'll work up to the other stuff. Ah. According to the game, says Dominate I. I've never played this, but it said so on the expiry form. Well, look at that. I mean, in the Expanse books, they're always going into vacuum and having to do something very quickly, aren't they? Because then their eyes are just going, like, really hot and bad. Kate Lilly has done a super chat saying, if you hadn't... Remac if you hadn't... Uh, oh, mentioned Rebecca Black, I wouldn't have opened Insta to see a friend found a cat in need of a home. Our, pre our previous one passed in July. Well, Kate. Um, oh, there was a there was a light on that panel. Thanks, Dominic. I oh, never mind. Um, well, firstly, Kate, thank you for the super chat. Second, I think I'm right about it. Right. Um, third, uh, I hope it works out. That sounds wonderful. Um, and I think it would be great if you could give a cat a home, especially if you're um, if you just lost yours. Cutter. Faisal says, Johnny, random question, but when did your baby kitten start jumping out the box and how did you keep them inside? We didn't. We built them a bigger pen. Is the answer. Right, there's a light here. Oops. Where's the barge? Below? No. Wow, I've looked in literally every direction I possibly can. Here we go, trick shot. <laughs> um. Cargo hatch. You're going in the barge as well, are you? Alright. Um. What was I going to say? I'm not sure. Oh, we were talking about the, the kittens. Yeah, we just built them a bigger environment. It's very much a fallback strategy that we've been employing. Deposit confirmed. Applying credit. We're kind of reaching the end, uh, the final stretch of the kittens, to be honest, because uh, they... Uh, we've gotten until, like, the 15th of November, I think, roughly. Which doesn't feel like far off, especially at the rate this year has been evaporating. What this? O2 oh, canister! Yeah, come here. You're my best friend. Asteroid shard. An asteroid shard. Well, free money. Um, cheerful spider has done a super chat saying space fact. 
If exposed to vacuum, the pressure outside your body is drastically lower than inside your digestive tract and, well, dot dot dot. Thank you for that cheerful spider, that's... Yeah, that's interesting. Goodness. Um, oh, Cat from the Kong says, can I... Yeah, this is a super chat also. Can I get a shout out for my amazing husband who just came home from work at 1am and needs a cheer? 1am is not a time anyone wants to be getting home from work, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, a massive shout out to Cat from the Kong's husband. It, so it sounds like you're working extremely hard. Uh, and I hope you don't have many 1am finishes to come. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope I hope I hope you sleep bloody well tonight. Thank you very much, Cat. And um, may I say, you two are a cute couple uh, because that is a that is a nice thing to do to get somebody on the other side of the world to shout somebody out because they just got home late. Uh, God, super chats are bloody flying in. Uh, I should be studying. Is doing has done a super chat saying thank you so much for being so warm and positive all the time. A while, a while ago, I realised that I was. Uh, ARO Ace, and my family isn't accepting of the queer community. It's really tough at times, but your videos help a lot, so thanks. I'm so sorry to hear that there's that sort of... Um, uh, discrepancy, I guess, in the way your, your family feels about it versus you. Uh, I'm sorry that they're not accepting. And I, I do hope that, you know, they change and come to realise that they can do a lot more good in changing their attitude. Um, transferring credits than anything else because you know just not being accepting is only going to be harmful basically but I mean you know that as well as anyone else so I do hope things change soon but um, I'm very very glad that uh, the videos sort of come in handy every now and then um, I hope you've got people around you who are being loving and supportive because um, a found family is a truly wonderful thing and uh yeah, thank you for the super chat. That's very, very kind. Killjoy695 has done uh, a super... Yay! He's done a super... Oh, I'm running low on fuel. Saying, hey, Johnny... Uh, <laughs> Killjoy695 has done a super chat saying, hey, Johnny, did you watch the SWAT Cats video I sent you the link for a while back? And did you get my tweet with a personal request in it? I... This is going to sound awful of me, but... Um, I receive like hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of like communications like t tweets and stuff a week um so i cannot remember um i i definitely haven't watched the swat cats video sorry about that uh and i d i simply couldn't tell you what the the tweet with the personal request in it is um i'm sorry i know that's weird but it's just simply just the volume of messages i get it sounds conceited to say but it's just like Sometimes I'm just constantly my, you know, I'm getting people tweeting at me or talking to me on Discord or XXXXX. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry that I haven't, uh, but uh, I haven't, basically. Uh, and finally, Sainted Karma on a super chat saying, Have you played Windbound? I describe it as a Moana roguelike. It's on Games with Gold this month. It has fantastic music and a great adventure feel. feel. I'll write that down. That sounds interesting. Um, uh, Orthogonalus. Um, uh, I still on a super chat saying, A curious person I met. A shipbreaker. Billions in debt. I sent them some cash, but now I must dash. So thanks for this small tete-a-tete. -tete. That was mm, a blinder. Absol an absolute blinder. Big fan of that. Um, I mean, I love a haiku, but that was a pitch-perfect fucking... Um, fucking limerick love it well done and uh thank you for the super chat and uh have a lovely rest of the day right let's see seth strife has done a super chat saying any news on when the 2022 egx special will be posted on ox venture yes after the conclusion of this series so we've got We've got the episodes of Legacy of Dragons, and then it'll be after that. Um, it, it, I promise you, it'll make sense in the chronology. It just, it, it would feel weird to sit to just like to uh, put them out halfway through uh, uh, the series. So yeah, a little bit of a wait. But on the plus side, you've just, you, you know, you've got an, an Ox Venture episode like every week. In fact, uh, in a couple of hours, there'll be a new one going live, which is very nice. Um, 
Some guy sitting down and sent a super chat saying, I looked up Rebecca Black, doubted your taste for a minute. I'll say it again. Thank you for your calm and reassuring voice and presence. Big hug. Thank you, some guy sitting down. Right. Um, okay. Cutting up a ship. I can't wait to upgrade my, um, my stuff. In fact, you know what? Because my fuel's getting low as well. I think I'm gonna st cease this shift. Ah! Oh god, oh god. Oh, you really have to break hard, don't you? I'm gonna finish this shift and come back to the same ship tomorrow. Come on, into the hab. Yes, into the hab. Dan Keller says, have we got tethers yet? Not yet. So we did 41%. We've wrecked a light, an aluminium panel, and a soft crate. When did we do the soft crate? Oh well. New certification level attained. License level increased. Yes. Hopefully that'll unlock something, but if it doesn't, then it doesn't. Anyway, hold on one sec. Ugh. Yeah, this is a pretty big, um, this is, a, this is a pretty big old ship we're cutting up here, but um, seems to be doing fine. We're still horribly in debt, obviously, but we've ranked up, and uh, there's plenty more ship to salvage, so that'd be good. Okay. End shift. <laughs> Mr. McWaggle says, kind of getting Ian McKellany. Very true. I mean, any voice I do is, is unfortunately quite close to being Gandalf. I'm a trucker. That was more. Good morning, anyway, it doesn't matter. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. <laughs> horrible. Bloody horrible. All right, new ship. The Mackerel Exolab. Uh, electrical hazards. Okay, well, we're going to work on the same ship, so... Okay, we're now qualified to handle electrical hazards. Electrical components may arc when removed, impacted or damaged, causing other objects to be electrified, including the shipbreaker themselves. This can cause damage to Lynx spare and Lynx equipment. Caution is advised. Incredible. Mackerel heavy cargo. Ooh, woo, woo. Grapple strength can be upgraded to improve handling of its heavy structural elements. Hazards fire. Yep. Fire hazards, fuel or flaming objects. Don't catch fire. Okay. Daily fees. Spare regeneration fee. Interest. Interest! Interest of 124 grand. Good God. Cutting tool, rental. I'm renting all of my things. Oh, no. Ties. Ooh! We got a lovely sticker. Uh, Ty C has done a super chat. The super chat is blank. Thank you, Ty C. Um, if there was a message, um, I, see, I mean, there are three dashes, so maybe it seems like you didn't want there to be a message. But just in case, um, thanks. <laughs> uh, but let me know and I'll read it out. Okay. Okay. The bills have been seen. They come to five digits, so that's your salvage goal each day to break even. Got it. Five digits. Okay. Hey, Cutter. I'm looking at the stats coming from your bay, and it's looking like you're really going to make your way around. Ah. Here. It's time to learn about how to upgrade your equipment and some of the more yes. advanced tools you'll soon have at your disposal. Head on over to your workbench in the equipment room, and we'll see about upgrading your tools. I will. Lexus Stars says, so is Tom Nook running this? 
Yeah, it feels like it, doesn't it? Uh, Nick Jeffrey is on a super chat saying, There was a YouTuber named Johnny with scaly pals, or rather Bonnie. Whenever they stream, the thought makes me bean, so please take beam, sorry, so please take my super chat money. That's very nice, thank you. Very nice. Who knew there were so many poets around us? New stickers! New st sticker, singular. Actually, no, I don't want to put it on that one. Remove sticker. I want to put it on my grapple because that was the tool I used to earn it by smashing my face into the thing. Equipment. I'm gonna read this straight from the manual. <clears throat> Lynx rewards hard work and learning by giving shipbreakers access to tool improvements and new equipment. Reaching salvage goals is essential for becoming a master shipbreaker. Basically. They want to make sure you prove yourself first, before giving you the big guns. Completing salvage goals will net you shiny Lynx tokens. Use those tokens here to get yourself some new gear. Okay. So let's get going and learn about one of the most important tools we, in a shipbreaker's toolbox. We've uh, there's a... Tethers. Okay. Go ahead and purchase Okay, we're going to purchase some tethers. But first, Alison Vassabar has done an absolutely enormous super chat. Um, thank you so much. Just simply saying hi with a blue heart. Um, that's so kind of you. Thank you so much. That's that's um, enormous. Thank you. I'm uh, mildly flabbergasted. Um, thank you so much. That's really really lovely. I really hugely appreciate it. Ah. <laughs> um, uh, oh, some guy sitting down says I thought you said Rebecca Blank, not Black. Rebecca Blank is a sixty-ish. Uh, Ex US Secretary of Commerce. Right. No, that is different. Okay, so equipment. We'll go back. How by how by? How by how to buying? Those got thrusters. Utility grapple. Buy tethers. 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 Tether module. There we go. Purchase this license. Okay. Establish two electromagnetic anchors that pull objects along a field medium. Sounds great. Yes, please. After me, Cutter. Tethers are your friends. Tethers are your friends. Now, have a quick read, and let's hop back in the bay. To know the dragon is on a super chat saying, No poetry, just money. Brackets, I'm not good at poetry. With a, like, laughing but one bead of sweat emoji. Um, you, you know what? Not everyone has to be good at poetry. In fact, I'm kind of glad that not everyone's good at poetry, because if everyone was good at poetry, a lot more people... Well, well no, hang on a minute. I've tilted myself into a corner here. Because the thing I'm getting at is that a lot of people think they're good at poetry, but they aren't. And I've had to sit through quite a lot of them talking about it. You can spot which ones they are, because they often wear hats like that. Um, hmm. Basically, not... Right, here we go. This is what I mean to say. Not everyone has to be good at poetry. In fact... I wish there were more people in the world like you who realised that they weren't good at poetry and <laughs> saved other people some time. <laughs> anyway, right, let's learn about tethers. An enhancement to the standard handheld, handheld utility up, uh, utility grapple. Ah, the hug, very clever. The continuous van der Waals tether field system, or simply tethers, reduces the need for multiple shipbreakers to move a single heavy object, a versatile tool in the hands of skilled workers. The introduction of tethers led to the gr second greatest increase in salvage efficiency in Link's history, only losing out to real protein breakfast meal discontinued in 2262. Tethers are easy and intuitive to use. Press and hold your grapple's secondary trigger to place the first contact point, drag the connection to another object, and release the trigger to complete the connection. Tethers automatically retract to pull connected objects together. They can also be used to pull objects into the processor, furnace, or barge for equip efficient and quick salvaging. Right. Okay. Dick Scatberg says, wow, way to encourage people to not write poetry, lol. Dick, if you want to go out there and write poetry, you go out there and write poetry, my friend. I'm not telling anyone they can't do it. I'm just saying that a lot of people shouldn't do it. And it's, you know what, it's not for me to decide who can and can't do it. It's for them to work it out for themselves. You know? That's what I mean. Uh, okay. So we've bought tethers. It will get get rid of your existing ship, though. What will? Damn. You get a tutorial when you start a new shift, but that's good. Oh, get rid of my existing ship. Meow. Oh, well. Okay, well. 
No, continue ship. Yeah, continue ship. Continue salvaging your existing ship. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Still got to buy new fuel, look. Tiger's Eye 120 says, I thought I had enough of this game, but here I go downloading it again. Well, well. Okay, right. We've got to earn a lot of money today. You have a nice day. Ah, it used to force you to do the tutorial. Well, that's good. Megan M has done a super chat saying... <laughs> Like this, I wish I was a glow worm. A glow worm is, is never glum, because how can you be grumpy when light shines out your bum? Did I do this right? Megan, you did it beautifully. To, to steal a line from Lord Summer Isle, you did it, you did it beautifully. Uh, thank you very much for the super chat and the delightful glow worm poem. Glow worm. Glow worm? Is that anything? Glow worm poem? That's more assonance than it is a rhyme. Uh, Dick Skatberg has done a super chat saying, Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm bad at this. How are you? I'm all right, Dick. Uh, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, and you know, like, you know what? It's for, you know, it's for, you can say that you're bad at it. It's not for me to say. So there we all go. Right. Hello again, ship. What's sh shipping with you? I <laughs> uh, don't know why that made me laugh. Right, listen here. Are you a cut point? No, you're cut point grade two. I can't handle grade two. Oh, wait, I can? Since when? I didn't know I could handle grade two stuff. I would have cut this bit off months ago. Months ago? A while ago. Oh, it's no, it's grade two, but cut level one. Johnny! Silly. Well, now we're talking. Yeah! Oops. Boink. There you go. Get in there. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Okie dokie. Good. Well, there's, oh, there's loads of stuff in here I can cut. It looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Silly me. Doom, do, 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 doom, doom, do, 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 doom, doom. Whoa. Oh, this game's just so good. Cat from the Con has done a super chat saying, My husband says, Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm also bad at this. Have a carrot. You know what, for someone who, who got in from work at one in the morning, that's a pretty good poem, mate. So, you should be congratulating yourself, if anything. Look at you, you level one little... Oh, wait, I'm grappling. Come on. I love that little pop sound when it goes. Okay. There was me looking at grade two, thinking that meant cut level two. Silly. Silly. Oh, hello. Hang on. We'll need this O2 canister. Oh, yeah, we will. That's that's ours now. Great. Let's thrust a fuel. Don't need it yet. 
D. Lonro says, Roses are red, carrots are orange. Fuck. <laughs> Very good. An old tin can has done a super chat saying, First time catching a live stream. Going back to bed because it's 6.25 a.m. We'll catch up on VOD. Thanks for being you with a purple heart emoji. 6.25 a.m. You get back in bed. That's... That's no time to be awake. Horrible. Ooh. Oh, yeah. No, that's the thrust I feel. Okay, yeah. No, we know about you. Okie dokie. Random working says to put spare things in the driver compartment for use later. Okay. Can't promise they won't float off. But you never know. Alright. Well, we'll get this light on the barge. The shy by guy says I leave the house at six every morning. Ugh. I mean I I did my I did, did my share of uh, of horribly horribly early starts. Um, I, yeah, I used to have a shift that started at six. Was it six or was it five? I can't remember. But it was a disgustingly early wake up. Um. Ooh. Oh, some more stuff to cut. Who's there? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, still. Ugh. Cat from the Kong has done another super chat. This time with the blood pair. It is a pair. It is a pair holding a mug of blood. The pair, I should say. The pair is. Um, oof, how to describe the pair? I mean, I know I've done it countless times, but still, it gets me every time. The pair. It's if you imagine a, a body of a, a piece of fruit, a pair in this instance, uh, grew arms and legs and a face and then got hold of a sports headband, but also somehow got hold of a mug and then filled it with blood. That's what we're talking about here. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Come here. Okay. Um, yeah, basically, it's just a pair standing there going like, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, repeatedly with a mug of blood in its hand. It's quite upsetting. Killjoy695, meanwhile, has done a super chat saying, I'm so glad I can just chill and watch you play while waiting to go home. After a Navy chief pinning, I am being forced to attend. That doesn't sound like fun. What are they pinning the Navy Chief to? Uh, or, what are they pinning to the Navy Chief? Also a question. Neither of them are good questions, but still. <clears throat> um, but, uh, more to the point, I'm, I'm very glad that you can be here and just chill while waiting to go home as well. That is a nice way to pass the time, if I say so myself. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, this game gets so much easier when you, you realise that all of the things you didn't cut, you weren't able to cut through, you can just cut through. Steady now. Okay. We've got 25 minutes of ship salvage left, so I kind of need to pick up the pace if I want to at least break even today. Killjoy695 says they are being pinned as making the rank of, of chief. Oh, good for them I suppose, but do they have to do it on your time? Why can't they just let you go? Are you pinning them? Don't super chat. Uh, don't see me chat that, I'm just, I'm just being a daft fucker. Thanks for the credits! Go on, get out of it. Should probably go get some more O2. Neko the Kissy says, Blood mugs are red, the pear is green. Wow, space is big. Um, carrot. Shit. Okay, you're not the one doing the pinning, Killjoy. That's good at least. Light on that one, barge. Ah, uh, dominate. I, I've, I've bollocks it up. Doesn't matter. It's okay. Butterscotch has done a super chat saying I do write some occasional poetry, um, and most of the time it isn't great. But some days I bust out a banger. Sodium nitrate. Oh my god! I didn't even see this coming. 
I do write some occasional poetry, and sometimes it isn't great. But sometimes I bust out a banger, sodium nitrate. Love it. Oofed. Have a nice day. I will have a nice day. I'm having a nice day. Thank you very much, thing, uh, computer that just sold me some oxygen. We've been on the run. Driving in the sun. Looking at the number one. California, here we go. Great, all this belongs in the processor, according to uh, my eyes. So, grab hold of this, rotate it. Oof. Oh Christ. No, no, up you get, up you get, up you get, up you get. Okay. Phew. Oh shit, I didn't even, t I'm not even taking all these side panels off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, you lovely panels? Look at you, just waiting to be deposited. You're so patient. Good on you. I should really, like, I should try and use the tethers, really. In fact, I will. Oh, oh, that's a tether. And then if I tether this bit. Look at them, look at them, look at them, they're tethered. Which is bad, because that's... No, we don't want that. Oh well. But I used them. Sorry, Tether. I tethered it to myself, apparently. Why? Get in there. Just don't pull me in. Right, well, there's an active Tether there, isn't there? Oh, look. There you go. All right, so that's tethered to itself. How do you cancel tethers? Oh no, my storage bin. Oh well. Right, well, something in that wants to go on the barge. It's uh, the airlock console. No, oh, that's some aluminium. Come on. Thank you. Also, you have limited tethers. Oh, I mean, don't, don't worry, I'm not... Oh, you cancel all tethers with Y. Okay. I wouldn't worry about my tethers. I'm not going to be using them well today, anytime. Anyway, rather. Words are hard. But you know what? It's okay. It's Friday. We've nearly made it. I, for one, don't plan to use food... Food? Food pack. That's well. I, for one, don't plan to use words well until Monday. After this, I am uh, taking a certain quadruped out to uh, to have a wee. And then I'm jumping on some Halo Infinite with my pals. I'm going to have a drink. And I'm going to yell about space guns on the internet for a while. It's going to be real nice. That's my whole... That's my whole evening plan. So, when I say I don't need to use words good, what I mean is, I'm going to be using some real foul language. But only only on Discord with people I know. I don't yell at randoms, or, I mean you can't yell at the other team in hell. Oh, I Anonymous says, tether it be nobler in the mind. Oh, that was a good object. We like a good ob object, don't we, gang? Oh, so this is the whole airlock. Right, yeah, we probably should, uh, we should cut the airlock free. Hey, how do we do that? I wonder. You want the whole airlock on the barge, do you? 
<gasps> Don't destroy the bloody airlock, Johnny. We sort of get in there. It's fun trying to work it out. Uh, good luck for a quick death has come in, and as is custom. Your oxygen reserves are low. Oh shit. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Um, good luck for a quick death has done a super chat. The super chat is blank because good luck for a quick death is both supportive and stoic. This is the way of things. Come on. D-Lawnray says, Yelling about space guns on the internet? So just your normal 9 to 5, then? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, I'm used to the brakes being extremely good in Prey. Like, really good. And also not being able to go as fast in Prey. Killjoy695 says, Johnny, do you play Destiny 2 at all? I used to. Uh, with the same people to play Halo with. Uh, we might go back to it at some point, but I haven't played it in a probably a uh, year or two now. But it's good. It's, good, it's a good game. There you go. There's my review. I like it uh, when... Why do I door console? I mean, can I just remove the door console? Yes. Uh, I like it when... Oh, no, but I could have activated it. Can I activate it now? No. <laughs> I'm going to pick up that thruster fuel. Well, that's annoying, because I think that would have helped. Oh, well. Dan Keller says, I have to go now, but this has been a delight. So glad you like this game. Um, thanks for all the, the helpful advice. It's been very, very useful. Um, but yeah, uh, Destiny 2, good game. Uh... Mm, but no, you can't have my bungee ID, I'm afraid. Um, I keep my uh, leisure time gaming just to me. Like, it's... It's uh, nothing... There's no comment on anybody. But if I'm... If I'm playing with people from the community, I'm not relaxing. I'm working. Like... So, I would... Rather rather not if that's okay oh also uh, I'm boycotting bungee games <laughs> um, I completely forgot about that bit yeah I'm not playing any Activision bungee games or any Ubisoft games for the foreseeable um, because of uh, the dreadful allegations that were made against them so there we go that's just yeah so there, yeah Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Pipe junction. Right, but that's not... Is that is that a junction for a pipe? Or is it a junction on the ship? Oh, I can't cut it anyway. Oh, no, I can. Sega Genesis says, Don't, didn't Bungie go independent and get bought out by Sony? Oh, yeah! Didn't they? I genuinely can't remember. Bungie no longer has anything to do with that division. Well, that's good. But in any case, no, I'm not playing Destiny at the minute. So. <laughs> right, let's just check this over. We've got titanium, nanocarbon. I reckon this is all good to go in the processor. Okay, yeah, they, they did. Okay. Did I mean Blizzard? Yes. I'm... Um, Sorry, long week. <laughs> Brain no work so good. But we're about to hit level three on this salvage job. Poskigat says it gets hard to keep track of which company is in the middle of a scandal and which isn't. Especially while you're also watching the country in which you live fall apart. That bit's that that's taken up a lot of my mental en energy at the minute as well. 
Come on, come on, you big old panel. Come on, you lovely bit of nanocarbon. Come on, mate. Come on, hurry, hurry it up. Hurry it up. Gotta go buy some more O2, actually. Right, off we go. Credits deposited. Diddle diddle diddle. Yes. Thanks for my rewards. I'll be I'll be perfectly honest with you, everybody. I think when I Oh, but then I'd have to restart, wouldn't I? Can you change the difficulty like whenever you want? Because I would I would um I would I would happily turn off the O2 and fuel required. No, I wouldn't. I like them. What I would like is to upgrade my oxygen tank so I don't have to come back here quite so often. I think that's what I'm thinking about. Dominate Eye says, by boycott, do you mean an, an organised action with a specific end goal or just that unethical processes have led you to make different choices as a consumer? Well, I'm... No, because I'm not just a consumer in this context, am I? Like, I'm covering these games. And sure, I'm covering them in an informal informal way. But uh, as has been sort of demonstrated to me time and time again, uh, what I cover uh, does impact sales. Because people will often pick up a game because I'm streaming it. So... I guess what I'm saying is, in, in the context of a boycott, it would be the same same as any other outlet saying they're, they're not going to cover they're not going to cover those games anymore. It just feels a bit different because I'm a one-person company. But to be perfectly clear on this, now nah, mate, it's a boycott. It's, uh, I'm not not giving them any coverage. Right, get in there. You big old piece of spaceship. We're getting there. We're slowly getting there. I'm going to do one more piece and then I might totter off for the evening. Because, uh, uh, like I say, it's been a long old week. Aha, aha, look, look, look. You can see the thing there. That's great. Mr. Tom for the Wind says, Johnny, I cannot tell you how glad I, glad I am to see you've enjoyed this game. It's bloody brilliant, Tom. Am I right in thinking you've streamed this? Uh, also, yourself on twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Tom FTW. Um, because if so, fair play. Fair play. Absolutely brilliant. Storage bins! Come here. Come here, storage bin. Thank you. Oofed. Any more storage bins? So many storage bins. I have a long time ago. It was very unoptimized then and did not perform well. It's a bloody delight now. Smooth as anything. Um, but since we're talking about your channel, Mr. Tom... What can people see you uh, playing on, uh, Mr. Tom for the win, lately? Is it a game you're sort of persisting with, or are you just sort of switching it up with different things? Aha, Mr. Tom for the win says, I had intended to go back to it now, but my stream list is long. For you see, Mr. Tom for the win is, uh, is one of those, um, one of those streamers with an actual game plan. <laughs> I don't know what I'm streaming when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> um, I just wait and see what I feel like streaming. And I'm fully aware that that is not a great way of doing things. I know it's good to have a content schedule, etc. So the perceived wisdom is content schedule, let people know well in advance, appointment to view, etc, etc. I literally wake up and go, ah! But there you go, Mr. Tom for the win is going to be playing Scorn this very evening, mind you. At twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Tom FTW. So there we go. You've been told. Killjoy695 has done a super chat saying, Well, I'm off for the pinning. Wish me luck considering I have an injured knee at the moment. This is going to suck. Ugh, good luck. That sounds rubbish. 
Um, I hope it goes alright. I hope they pin it on him real good. Um, and Donatron says, need to dash, Johnny. Thanks for the streams. I'll catch you uh, uh, to you and the mod squad. Um, take care. I mean, I'm off in a minute myself anyway, so um, I'm going to ping these bits into the appropriate things. Save the rest of the ship for another day. This game's just bloody great. Boop. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. Oh, we've, we've really got through it, haven't we? Wow. Look how much ship we've done. Now, unfortunately, this glass. This glass is worth so much. 88,525. Nanocarbon. Nanocarbon's worth quite a bit as well. Okay. Oh, my oxygen reserves are always low. Oh, shit, they really are, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now break. Now break. Now bring it in. <laughs> you can see me twisting my head rather than rotating my fucking character. Ah, oh, Zanana O says, glad to be catching live, even at the tail end of it. E even if at the tail end of it. Excellent work, Johnny. Thanks. This game's great. I like it a lot. Abandon shift? No. I don't want to abandon my shift. Ah. But uh, yeah, it, well, you know what? I think we are gonna gonna call the stream there because there's still quite a bit of ship left to do, and uh, ship happens, etc., etc. Um, uh, let's put it in the furnace. Let's give let's give this to the furnace. Um, this has been a lovely stream. This game's great, and uh, it didn't scare me, which is nice. Um, Kenyan 1212 or Kenyan 1212, however you want to say it. It's on a super chat saying, Glad to see you on a Friday, Johnny. Hope you and the other Skelly Pals enjoy your weekends with a smiley face and a sunflower. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Um, it's nice to be here on a Friday. Um, it, it's, it's got a nice, relaxed sort of feel to it. Um, it's been a lovely time. I'm going to totter off in just a minute, they say, continuing to, uh, continuing to pull bits off the the spaceship um, but yeah I hope everyone has a bloody lovely weekend um, there will be uh, new episodes of Presley Chiodini on the channel tomorrow um, if you're a patron of the middle or top tier it's the final episode of Prey I finished it um, I have thoughts about it you can look forward to all that nonsense oh no oh well Oh, I lost quite a lot of money there. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks everyone for watching this. It's been great fun, and I will catch you very soon, I am sure. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my hab and end, end the shift. Fuck it. I do want to finish this ship, but I've actually lost quite a lot of uh, salvage. Anyway, blah blah blah. My name's Johnny. It's been fun. Patreon.com forward slash Johnny Kiedini. Uh, once I, the second I get in this hab, I'll be able to talk like a normal human. No, I won't. That's a lie. That's a rank lie. Um, but yeah, it's been great. And I will catch you all soon. Like I say, new episodes of Preston Chiodini. Um, hope everyone has a lovely rest of your day, however much is left. And that your weekend is a bloody delight. Um, but yeah, thanks again. Catch you soon. Goodbye.